Hello and welcome to the review of TCL55 C735 TV from the 2022 lineup. This is a mid-range 4K Ultra HD TV that replaces the C72 series from 2021, namely the excellent C728. C73 offers a similar list of features but expands it mainly for gamers with support for AMD FreeSync Premium and maximum refresh rate of 144Hz. In addition to that, the new series is available in a much wider range of screen sizes, from 43 up to 98 inches. Let's see how well the 55 inch version did in my test. C73 is positioned above the C63 series and below the C83 series. C63 is a 60Hz QLED TV designed for those who mainly want to watch video content and are not interested in advanced gaming. C73 has a high refresh rate panel and supports up to 144Hz refresh rate via HDMI ports, which is something fans of fast paced content and gaming will appreciate. C83 offers better picture quality, mainly higher contrast and better HDR, thanks to mini-LED technology with local dimming. The design of C73 series varies depending on the screen size. The smallest 43 and 50 inch models have two feet. 55, 65 and 75 inches come with a central stand made of plastic and the biggest models with 85 and 98 inches have two feet design but feet are placed in the corners. In total, four different stand designs for seven different screen sizes. C73 has thin metal bezels surrounding the screen and metal back cover. Except for the stand which is completely made of plastic without the metal inner support, I don't have any complaints on the selection of materials and the design. All physical connectors are side facing and they include four HDMIs, 2 in version 2.1 and 2 in version 2.0b, 1 USB 2.0, antenna and satellite inputs, TOSLink, Ethernet, analog input via the supplied adapter, 3.5mm headphone jack and a common interface. The TV also has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I've tested Bluetooth connection with several devices and all of them were working fine. The connection was stable without any delays or interruptions. C73 series comes with two remote controls and here we see a change compared to the previous generations. Along with a standard long and narrow infrared remote without any smart features such as built-in microphone, TCL is supplying a second remote with updated layout and design. This remote uses infrared and Bluetooth connectivity has a built-in microphone and buttons designed to maximize Google TV platform, such as the overlay button. There are plenty of dedicated buttons for video on-demand apps, plus some additional ones like Media Player and Safety Guard. There are no custom buttons, but I was able to quickly access any app I wanted either using home and quick buttons or via voice commands. OK Google. Tell me a joke. This one will make you giggle or sigh. What do you call a caveman's fart? A blast from the past. C73 comes with Android TV 11 with Google TV interface. I was positively surprised at the initial setup. You can choose if you want the full experience with apps, Google Assistant and recommendations, or if you just want basic functionality for watching live TV and external inputs. You will still see apps in the home menu, but the menu will be much simpler than the standard Google TV interface. Great that somebody finally realized that there is an audience who doesn't need all those apps and options. On the other hand, Google TV interface is similar to that of Android TV 11, but with a more elegant home menu as well as several overlay menus like quick panel or settings. Clearly the focus is on apps and content available online. The platform worked fine during my test, fast and almost perfectly stable. All the video on demand apps played content without dropped frames or other issues seen on older Android TV platforms. 
I'll be making a separate video in which you will see how it works in real time and which options are available. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. With the same panel and picture processor as C728, it was no surprise that C735 performs almost exactly the same as its predecessor. Again we have a VA LCD panel, direct LED backlight without local dimming and quantum dot technology to enhance colors. Measure density contrast was similar as well as the maximum brightness. Since everything that I said in the review of the C728 model applies here, you can watch that review for more details. The bottom line is that you are getting overall a really good image quality with good contrast, sharpness and color accuracy for all kinds of content. Global dimming in dark scenes can be disabled in the user menus and the only variations in brightness I've noticed were during Dolby Vision playback. Just bear in mind that in this price category HDR won't look as great as on more expensive LCD models since you need true local dimming and higher peak brightness for that. Sound quality is exactly the same as on C728. Good for this price category, but nothing that really stands out. As always, I recommend connecting the TV to the AV receiver with at least stereo speakers. I've tested audio return channel or ARC functionality by connecting the TV to the Denon AVC-S660H AVR with an HDMI cable. By doing so, I was able to get multi-channel Dolby Digital Plus from streaming services, which is something most of us will use. In case you require EARC connectivity, consider that in my test I was only able to get 7.1 DTS HD Master Audio. Dolby True HD signal for some reason was not arriving to the AVR and it would play Dolby Digital Plus at best. Except for 144Hz max refresh rate and support for AMD FreeSync Premium, other aspects of gaming were the same as on C728. I've measured input lag of around 18 milliseconds in game mode and managed to get 2160p HDR VRR picture from the PS5 console. Together with no risk of burn-in and accurate colors in default game mode, I'm sure gamers will be happy with this TV. Ok, time to wrap up this review. TCL knows the importance of gaming, so the new C735 is mainly updated with what gamers want and expect from TVs at the moment, mainly support for up to 144Hz refresh rate and variable refresh rate support. In terms of picture processing and HDR performance, the results are good considering the hardware capabilities of this mid-range TV. If you don't need newly added gaming features and you are looking for a TV for movies and TV shows, you should be happy with the more affordable C63 series that is at the moment of making this video around 150 euros cheaper for a 55 inch version. You might still be able to find last year's C728 which remains a very good TV that offers better motion resolution than the C63 series thanks to its 120Hz panel. And this is it. Let me know what you think about this TV and which one would you pick in this price category. I would like to thank TCL Europe for providing the unit for testing and to retail shop Ronis for sending me a Denon receiver to check ARC connectivity. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.